Second question here. When you're studying volume, what's the important, what's the significance of just one day of light volumes behind a market move? Or is it, are you more studying the, the overall trend over a longer period of time? Excellent question. So again, I don't, I look at one day. I mean, when you go, when I go all multi-duration on you, I go one day, three days, 10 days, 30 days, 30, 30 months. You again, you take a camera and you go backwards in time and you chop it up and you see, it looks kind of like a cartoon. These things tend to roll and they're glacial. You know, these are macro factors. So something like volume is not that different. If you look at volume on a one year basis versus the five year average, it's, it's drastically lower than where it's ever been. And now we're starting to see lower lows in volume terms versus those generational lows for Wall Street. So a lot of bad things happen there. People get, you know, uh, try to get into a cash equity sales trading business and tell me how that is. It's not good, okay? And I'm, I don't mean to be mean about that. People are mean to me too. The reality is that it's a crappy business because volumes are low and commissions are getting cut. So that's what's happening. And I think that this is like really, and this is the bigger, broader risk. One day the whole thing just goes poof. Because you can't get out. You can't. And if you think you can, Pick my favorite, some of our favorite small cap shorts and put 200,000 shares on the offer and let me know how that stock trades today. I mean, this is what it is. Oh, and by the way, then every other broker is going to tell everyone that your order is on the desk. So again, there's a whole host of issues associated with this. And that's why I look at volume across durations and probably why I answered the question in too many ways than you asked for.